So I recently watched the new Amazon Prime series. Ah, uh, ah, uh, it's you see the I I did the thing from the show. Why are you not laughing? So Invincible is adapted from the graphic novel series of the same name and focuses on high school student Mark Grayson, played by Stephen Young. Mark is the son of Omni-Man, played by J.K. Simmons, who is essentially this universe's version of Superman. The series focuses mainly on Mark and his double life as superhero alter ego Invincible as he tries to balance having a regular high school experience with the massive responsibility that comes with being a superhero, constantly having to fight off nearly apocalyptic threats. Now if this summary sounds a little bit by the books, this is very much intentional because this series is all about taking existing superhero tropes and subverting them. I'll get it out of the way now. I really enjoyed this first season of the show, as most people have been. I'm going to keep this review spoiler-free, by the way, because I feel like this is the kind of show that you should go into knowing as few plot details as possible. As soon as the end of episode one, there are major plot developments and twists that really left me floored and intrigued to see where they were going to take them. My big takeaway is that the character of Omni-Man is easily far and away the best part of this show, and I don't think anyone is really disputing that at this point. There are lots of really intriguing decisions that they made with this character that I really kept getting more and more invested in whenever we got more insight into him. Now's probably a good time to mention that this show can get extremely graphic. You might even notice that the title cards get bloodier with each succeeding episode. Part of what I was getting at when I said that this show subverts common superhero tropes is that they treat the fight scenes a lot differently than most other shows or movies in the genre unless you're Logan or something like that. They aren't afraid to show you in pretty gruesome detail just how these types of fights between super beings would realistically go down. This show also doesn't shy away from the trauma and chaos that a gigantic galactic battle that can often be found in, say, MCU or DC films would really cause. It shows that in pretty graphic, almost traumatizing detail. And the fact that this show is so bloody makes that decision all the more impactful because it makes you really see the consequences of the character's actions and really feel what's at stake. Before I get into my criticisms with the show, I'll first address the fact that it does have similarities to the boys, but I do think they're going for pretty different goals. The Boys is more of a social commentary thing where it focuses more on what would it really be like if superheroes existed in the real world that we inhabit. And Invincible is more of a traditional superhero story with a few big wrenches thrown in. Now it's criticism time where I get everyone mad at me. Like I said that this concept is pretty great. I did, however, have a little bit of trouble getting into the main character of Mark, which is kind of concerning since he is the main character after all. He's pretty much portrayed like a typical teenager who wants to just get with this one girl and do everything that he can to be with her, but there are points where it was a little bit distracting because I couldn't shake the thought that Someone who's gone through the life experiences that he has wouldn't really act like that. Maybe it's just me reading too much into it, but it felt a little bit off to me. Also, his girlfriend Amber is probably the most inconsistently written character in the show, which doesn't help that plotline. And his friend William doesn't really seem to serve much of a purpose. The middle of the season definitely focuses the most on that aspect, and it honestly felt almost like a side mission in a video game where you're waiting for the main crux of the story to develop. There's also the animation. 
they're clearly going for the same look as a DC or Marvel cartoon that's a little more innocent than this show is, but it almost looks like they lowered the frame rate quite a bit and it looked a little bit janky at points. Thankfully, once the end of the season comes around, it ties everything together pretty nicely. The second half of episode 7 and the final episode, number 8, are just enthralling to watch and I won't spoil it but it's been a while since something actually made my jaw drop and there was a sequence in the final episode that certainly did that. I'll only say this. Train. Anyone who's seen the show should know exactly what I'm talking about. These episodes also bring a tremendous amount of growth to Mark as a character, and it makes it clear what the true meaning behind the title of the show and his superhero alter ego really is. I also have to give a big shout out to the pretty solid cast of side characters. My main standouts were Robot and Cecil. They were really well done. There were also a number of cameo appearances that were pretty great, and I don't think I should say much more. I think you should give it a watch. So yeah, despite having some issues here and there, I would still recommend this show to just about anybody, as long as you can handle lots of graphic blood and violence. Which, in my opinion, shouldn't really be much of a turnoff if you're looking for impactful storytelling. Good writing is good writing. Wow, this meme is like the only positive memory I have about Incredibles 2. Also, two videos in a row that I've mentioned Incredibles 2. It's almost like I have strong opinions on it and might make a video on it one day. Maybe, I don't know. So yeah, if you have Amazon Video, I'd recommend you give this a watch. I'm feeling either a strong 7 or a light 8 out of 10 on this one. Yeah, you know what? I really like this show. I'm giving it an 8 out of 10. So that does it for this review. Thank you for watching. If you've seen Invincible, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, subscribe down below. And if you liked this video, like this video.